Good morning. Turn off. Welcome to Electric Felix back at it. It is one year ago, almost to the day, that I first got into the Jaguar I-Pace and I'm back. At least I was back because I'm ready to return the car to the rental agency 6th and I'm here at a um, total gas station next to the rental agency actually I went here back in August I think it was and then there were these new chargers that are next to me I will show them at the end of the video and this it gave me the impression that total was a serious company to do uh, EV charging infrastructure there was they also have um, added I think two or three by now uh, high power chargers in France one is very close to Paris so I'll check that one th that one out for sure next year but um, yeah the main point of this video is really to make a statement about companies like Total is one example but the biggest example in, for me personally because they are so big in this country is Shell obviously maybe you have the new motion app installed on your phone then yeah sad news is you don't have the new motion app on your phone anymore unless you didn't update it because if you did then you now have shell recharge which is all fine because they bought new motion anyway two years ago you were already paying their bills if you were a customer but then this implies shell recharge implies that there's actually shell recharging going on and of course the reality is that they built one high power charger near Tilburg in the south of the Netherlands I tried it it did uh, fail on me but I could restart it immediately so it didn't really matter but experience wasn't perfect and more importantly it is one charger and they started talking about chargers yeah maybe a year ago I, it, it doesn't even matter like six months a year a year and a half but I don't care about these talks four weeks from now it will be 2020 new year full of EVs there's gonna be EVs from all directions literally doesn't matter if it's a French brand if it's a Korean brand if it's an American brand if it's a German brand all these car makers especially right here in the Netherlands they will be selling EVs like never before just because pricing gets better charging infrastructure is fine but that's my point thanks to a company like Fastnet and nowadays in Germany for example Ionity and let not, let's not forget Allego because they also try there is infrastructure that creates the opportunity to drive around half of Europe I would say within uh, yeah the boundaries of what your car can do and uh, yeah you can move around freely sort of but it still needs improvement these companies yeah three companies covering all of Europe no it's not gonna happen I mean 
might happen, but needs time. So the more parties get involved, the better for everybody. More competition, prices may get better, who, who knows. And then you have these gas companies like Total and Shell. Um, maybe I should mention uh, BP because they run the charge master network in the UK and they actually seem to be pretty serious about it uh, unfortunately last time I was in the UK is already back in February it was a good experience but I need to um, reevaluate next year if I can so yeah um, so there's a lot of promise with companies like Total and Shell to build these chargers maybe we should go outside so I can show them to you yeah let's do it but these promises they are just um, yeah not very serious you can see this uh, yeah what is it it's like a bag it's like a bag over the machine and then there's the the other machine total EV charge blah 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 yeah it's all nice but that has all been there for months already um, yeah these chargers were up and sort of running in uh, back in August even on the website that Total has I, I will link to it with the video on their website you could even log into the charger and say I want to start this process um, and I tried my uh, charging card which uh, didn't work yet and then there were no bags on the machines because they should have been in use in the summer and now it's winter that's that's why I stay in the car it's pretty cold outside yeah uh, it is it is not a good commercial for a company like Total and obviously they are lucky in the sense that most people are not like me so they probably they didn't have that many visitors yet because nobody knows that this charger is here unless you for example own the charge map app because I either put it here or I updated uh, the thing that was on there doesn't matter so yeah there's a lot of promise but then you know this charger might not be working next year uh, it was already put here at least in August maybe even earlier physically but it, it should have been on in August and then when you ask in the shop in the total shop then they would say yeah it will be September and then obviously in September they sh start saying October and if you read back on the charge map in the commentary you see people saying that when they came to ask in October the shop says it's November and somebody added a comment about the cables not being here well this cable has been of this charger has been plugged into a Jaguar that I rented months ago um, it's not the cables and this is what I also don't like I I would like to know the story behind it but obviously nobody really cares in the shop it's not gonna matter um, I mean maybe they will sell a couple of sandwiches but um, yeah the, the, the reality is just that uh, there's no information there's nothing going on obviously nobody's working on these things and I mean the the light is even on you know that this, this is what makes me a bit sad um, yeah I should show it to you now that I'm talking like that so now here we go you know these machines are just fully powered up I know that if I would uncover 
if I would uncover the thing, then um, obviously it would just show me the charging screen like normal on these uh, ABB machines. Uh, yeah, we all know these charging screens. So this machine is powered up, ready to charge. I, I think there's just, you know, it could be that they are not communicating with their MSPs and whatever that all charge probably not all Dutch charging cars work yet and Total is maybe negotiating contracts because it even shows the Kiwi Pass I should show that too but I don't want to go outside again uh, the, this um, this French charging card that I um, that I discovered thank thanks to uh, Martin the guy running uh, laadpastop10.nl one of the best uh, charging card um, overviews you can get uh, in Europe in Dutch unfortunately if you don't speak Dutch anyway uh, yeah I mean why are these chargers here if they're not running why why don't you put them in free vent if if the problem is which I think is that you're not communicating well with all the Dutch charging cards yet that's fine you know Ionity is also still working on that compatibility so if you visit Ionity near Utrecht then you can just charge up for free because they're working on it and yeah that's good you know it's a good introduction to Ionity people will be charging up for free they might come back when it's paid because they just know hmm, this charger is reliable and it's there and this is just the other way around these companies these gas companies they come from a different world and in their world things move slow and are pretty boring I guess so they just put this machine here which I am thankful for but how nice would it have been to just juice up a little you know I could um, I'm gonna return the car to the rental agency how nice would it have been to not bring it back empty because you know I can just grab a sandwich boom get 20% uh, more in the car everybody's very happy yeah uh oh <coughs> uh. so yeah Apologies about that. Really, uh, best season of the year, of course. December 2019, almost there. Christmas is coming. Okay, um, yeah. So I hope 2020 will bring us many more fast chargers. Hopefully, some cheap ones that I can tell you about. Yeah, so the day that Total uh, replies to me and tells me like, wow, Felix, you can go and have a charge. It's very expensive, but now you actually can. Then, I mean, I don't like expensive charging, but it's better than no charging. I like fast charging. Pretty fast machines they put here, but prob people with the, the Porsche Taycan or the Model 3 long range will be disappointed about these machines probably because they own only do 175 and obviously you should only build capable uh, machines for 350 kilowatts nowadays especially next to Amsterdam where it's so busy with electric cars and yeah I can only imagine that there will be many Porsches driving around next year and there are already many uh, Model 3s by Tesla and it's getting more and more the boats are still coming in there's a lot of tax deduction uh, rules especially especially for uh, business drivers okay enough so yeah I just hope that these charges will work next year because otherwise yeah what's a charger that we can only look at what does it bring us not a lot when shell actually tells us something good 
I will get into that also, but um, I'm not really uh, confident that it will move fast next year. I've read many promising articles this year and then the action is just nothing. Like, they put up a station. Man, Fastnet puts up five stations and they have not even half the people. Not even half the money. It's just uh, very uh, disappointing. I, I, don't, I don't need Shell Recharge in my life. But if Shell Recharge tells me they will conquer Europe with their charging network, blah, 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 please get to work. On that note, I wish you a joyful weekend or week whenever you're watching this. Many safe kilometers on the road, wherever you are. And um, yeah, keep on moving these EVs around the world. Find my latest newsletter on electricfelix.com slash newsletter. Sign up and you will not miss new videos, news about my travels. When I hear about a cheap charging cart, you will be the first one to know. And uh, yeah, see you in the new year. Sure of that.